Hello. In this tutorial, we will show how to install the Apache Bloodhounds package. My operating system is Windows 7 on an Intel Core i5 CPU. Before downloading and installing the Apache Bloodhound, we need to install the required packages. So, please click the installation instructions on the main page. As you can see here, we should install Python, pip, and virtual env. Since virtual env package is not essential for the Apache Bloodhound, we will skip this package and we will just install Python and pip package. For the Python, you should go to the python.org website and in on the download section you should select one of the Python 2.7 variations appropriate for your machine and download the package I've already downloaded the Python package click on the package in the first dialog select the install for all users options in this dialog you should select destination directory we can uh, we can leave the default directory here and also leave the default options here since the installer needs the administrative privileges in this section it will ask for the password of a privileged user and now the installation progress is complete if you go to the start programs you can see the python 2.7 installed. Now we need to add the path of Python programs to the path of this system. Please click, right click on the My Computer, select Properties. In the Advanced System Settings, you should select Environment Variables. find the path variable from the system variables we should edit this variable as you can see this this variable has a value at the end you should add the path of the Python installation directory as you can remember that was Python 27 C Python 27. We also need to add another subdirectory of the Python, so you should add a semicolon C Python 27 backslash scripts. So we add two sections at the end of the path variable and variable these sections are supported by semicolon okay click okay now if you run the cmd from everywhere you should be able to run the following command as you can see the Python imp interpreter is, in is, is started now if you change the directory you can also see the interpreter okay now we need to install the second package pip is the package management of the Python 
Before installing pip, we need to download the distribute setup script from the following website python-distribute.org Click on this script, distribute setup, save this I've created a folder in one of my drives distribute setup is saved in this directory as you can see the distribute setup script is downloaded and saved in this directory now from the CMD go to this directory As you can see, the distribute setup py is located here. Now we should issue the following command python space distribute underline setup py. This command will install the setup tools, a branch of setup, tool, setup tools named distribute. And after that, we will install the pip package okay as you can see this the distribute setup tools is installed in the Python installation folder now we should issue the following comment easy underline install pip again easy underline install space pip issuing the following command will install the pip package okay as you can see the pip package is installed now go to the bloodhound wiki page as I said before we will skip the virtual env package we will use the SQLite default database which is installed by default in the Py with Python we should skip the PostgreSQL section and MySQL section. Now we should we should go to the installation section of the Apache Bloodhound. As you can see, we should go to the directory of the Apache Bloodhound slash installer. I've downloaded and extracted the Apache Bloodhound package. This is the extracted folder. As you can see, there is a folder here named installer. Now you should go to this folder from the command line. Change directory to Apache Bloodhound. You can see the installer folder here you should change directory to installer okay there are some files here now go to the web page you should issue this command pip space installed space dash r requirements.txt pip install dash r requirements this will install all of the required packages for the bloodhound Apache bloodhound
you should wait until this command finishes its work There are some progresses to show how the work is done. Okay, as you can see, the pip command finished its jobs. Now you should you should do this command python this command python bloodhound underline setup. The installer asks you a question since we do not want to install the PostgreSQL database you should type n here no please supply a username for the admin user we can leave the default admin enter a new password for admin I enter admin Again, you should re enter the password. Okay, now the Bloodhound Apache Bloodhound package is installed on your system. You should run the package by issuing this command. This is written here. I copy the text and paste it. since mm, it is not copied completely I should type the remaining characters bloodhound backslash environments backslash main be careful that 
the comment is the same as it is printed above track D dash dash port 8000 and you can see the path of the installation E backslash temp backslash apache blot 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 hound version backslash installer backslash blot hound backslash environments backslash main press enter you can see that the server is started and it is serving on port 8000 now if you point your browser to the address specified here you can see the Apache blood hunt. HTTP This is the address of local host when twenty seven point zero point zero point one eight thousands this is the port number press enter here you can see one link please click on the main and now you can see that the Apache Bloodhound is installed and running on your machine if you want to access the Apache Bloodhound from the remote machines you should find the IP of your machine so please run a CMD in the CMD type the following command IP config backslash all this will show the IP of your interf the network interfaces mm. on my machine mm, there is uh, there my wireless LAN is configured to have the following IP you can see here IPv4 address one ninety two point one eighty six point zero point two this is the IP of my network address or even you can open network and sharing center here and find the IP of your machine by clicking on the wireless network connection or your network adapter if you click on the properties here internet protocol version 4 you can the you can see the IP of your machine you should notice that it varies on various machines some machines are connected via cables so they will have network adapters wired network adapters however you should find the IP of your machine and if you change the address to the IP of your machine you can access the Apache button so the remote machines should enter the following address your IP and point number your IP colon point number slash main Be careful about the firewalls installed on your machine. If your firewall is configured to block the incoming requests, they will not see the Apache Bloodhound service. So you can temporarily disable your firewall and test the Apache Bloodhound from remote machines. Thanks.